someone who looks at investing on a multi-generational time horizon. That is what Tomasic was born to do back in, what, 1974? Yep. So what do you believe will be the most durable source of cash flows and sustained outperformance over time? Is it one of these? Is it AI? Is it something else? No, I think at the end of the day, the most important thing for us is how to build a resilient and forward-looking portfolio, right? Resilient. So you've got to take the view that there'll be many shocks happening in the world. We've just been through a massive one this year, you know? Um, and you've got to figure out whether your portfolio of companies can withstand and come back, bounce back, bounce forward, if you want to talk, uh, put it that way. And then forward-looking means you've got to look at where the big shifts are happening. So technology is a big shift. Climate, by the way, is a big shift. Okay, it's still there. It's still relevant no matter where it is on the, on the polling in the earlier session. Um, and by the way, AI is going to have a real impact on climate solutions. So if you look at AI, that's a, the biggest change that we face today. It's going to affect... The energy the, demand. Energy demand is the biggest bugbear we, fa we face today with regard to AI. But AI is there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to affect all businesses. Uh, energy is the biggest issue um, to making it a reality. You know, so... Abundance of energy is required because of the demand, and technology solutions are not there to significantly impact the use of energy in the, in the, in the context of compute power for the time being. So that becomes a risk you know, in, in terms of uh, you know, funding of AI models. If you think about it from that perspective, you can argue that uh, the amount of capital that's going into, um, into infrastructure for AI or enabling uh, AI uh, is a lot more than what's required right now, but it may be not because it depends on demand, right? So the question is whether um, it's going to become a reality and that depends on other factors of which energy is one. Um, and the other, of course, is whether you're going to see the kind of effects that you think are going to come about from, what, from, from, the, from, from, where, from the race for AI superiority today. So you've got two countries looking at this primarily. You've got the US, you've got China, okay? The race is not over yet, you know? Um, in compute power, the U.S. is ahead. In energy, China is ahead. In product services application layer, the U.S. is ahead. In adoption, China is ahead. So where this turns out is a big question for all of us. You're making this so hard for me. I'm looking for simple answers. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.